Hello everybody and welcome back to our brand new video on High Pixel Skywalk. So recently there was an absolutely insane bug that completely ruined all the dungeon speedrunning leaderboards. Today we're going to be looking at what this bug was, how it was discovered, and finally answering the question of how this bug ruined all of the dungeon leaderboards. Now these videos take a long time to make, so please consider subscribing and let's get right into it. The story begins with a dungeon sweat called V3SR, and he released a video where he figured out how to secret dupe with healing potion. Now he was actually the first person to discover this ever, so that video was very original, and dungeon sweats immediately began using this bug to their advantage. So that's basically how it was discovered, and most likely he was just killing the bat in trap room or something like that, and he must have accidentally dropped the healing potion or something on it, and he realized that the secret got duped. However, this, although it was pretty good, was not the crazy part about this bug. Do you want to see the crazy part about this? Well, just watch this clip from the M6 S Plus world record by my friend RMRF Slash. Okay, I swear to God, okay, I have this recorded. I'm gonna upload it on the list to YouTube and send it to ILO Yuck. Yeah, same. Nice! Oh, let's go. Sub 16. No, this is 16.02. <laughs> so, as you can see, they just did the M6 terracotta phase in 16.1 seconds. Now, if you're not a dungeon player, this is nothing significant to you. But let me give you a sense about the old terracotta records. Now, I hold the second fastest terracotta in M6 ever, and that is at just over 38 seconds. And they got 16 seconds. And keep in mind that I got the second place world record with a team full of Kata 50s and maxed out stats. So, just exactly how did they just shred that timer for the terracotta? Well, let me explain. So remember those healing potions from secret duping, right? Well, this bug actually let you do quite a bit more with those healing potions. By splashing terracotta with healing potions, you would regenerate terracotta with only 100 HP, essentially allowing you to dupe terracotta. So as you can see, all that little bit of a red splashing effect in this clip was actually the players emptying an entire inventory full of healing potions onto the mass of terracotta, duping dozens of terracotta and giving them that ridiculous time of 16.1 seconds. So that was how the M6 leaderboard got destroyed. And I don't know how this leaderboard will ever be beaten with a 16.1 terracotta face. However, now let's see how this became even more broken. Entering M4. Master Mode 4 is one of the most annoying floors because you have to kill three sets of spirit bears eight times to beat the boss a single time, which is really painful. Now there is a bow duping glitch that makes it a lot easier, but in general it's an annoying floor. Well, with the healing potions, players got up to four spirit bows with one cycle of bears. And there went the Master Mode Floor world record. Now all of these are only for world records, but this glitch could also get you a ludicrous amount of money. By splashing healing potions on Diamante Giants, you could infinitely do Diamante Handles. And those are worth quite a bit, so you could make up to over a billion coins per hour for a very short amount of time, as long as you filled all of your storage and all of your ender chest to the brim with healing potions, and then kind of just spammed it for the one hour straight. So that's the end of the video, and how this one dungeon glitch completely ruined the dungeon speedrun leaderboards, and quite possibly could have ruined the diamante handle economy. However, now the glitch has been patched, please do not try to do it, you will just waste healing potions. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys all later. Bye!